But um, talk to us about your experience. So you were married to a man uh, who got into or was involved in cultism. At the point of getting married, though, did, were you aware of this? Was there anything out of place or was everything okay? At the start of it, everything was okay. Mm -hmm. um, but things started changing all of a sudden, gradually, slowly by slowly. What, what was changing? Okay, when uh, we got married at first, well, um, I finished my O-level education. Okay, there's this guy who was uh, in love with me. He was a... Uh, we were in relationship, so um, he proposed that, uh, he told my father that he'll take me to college. Little did I know that he was taking advantage of me, that uh, he wanted to marry me. Now he told me, he convinced me that uh, we start st staying together, then uh, as time goes by, he'll take me to college. Then all of a sudden, um, I got pregnant, then uh, after nine months, I delivered a baby girl mm -hmm. called Mercy. Then this guy, all of a sudden, he started, okay, he was a church goer, Catholic church goer. Mm -hmm. Then uh, all of a sudden, he told me that he don't feel like going to Catholic church, that uh, we look for another church to go to. Did he explain okay. why? He told me that uh, he, does not, he, he does not feel like going to Catholic, he does not like it. Oh, he did not give me any reason. Uh, okay. Reasons. So, okay, I told him uh, he's the one to choose the church that we'll go to. Okay, I realized that whenever we he decides that we'll go to this church, and being uh, the wife, I had to follow what he was telling me. As uh, I gave him time to decide which church that we may, we might go to. When we went to the church, we fellowshiped maybe two or three Sundays. Then he comes in the house. One evening he tells me that, no, this is not the right church. That God is speaking to me, is telling me that this is not the right church. Then I get tired. I feel like, ah, no, why? So I tell him, as my husband, that he is the one still to decide on what we'll, we'll do. So he comes again and tells me, Yes, I've gotten another church. We'll go to it. Okay, we go there two to three Sundays for one month. He comes and tells me, no. God tells me, this is not the right church. Okay, I got fed up. Now I was asking him, can we just choose only one, ch one, one church that we'll be going to? Then we started differing. Because uh, I had di discovered that He's moving from church to church, church to church, but I don't know. Okay, the God that is uh, communicating to him, why don't that God communicate also to me uh, which church to go to? Okay, it reached a time that he told me that we'll go to a certain church. At long last, he told me that this is the last church that we'll go to, we'll be fellowshipping with. Okay, one day he told me that... Um, Okay, the church, God had stop, uh, spoken to him that he, he should put on a, a long gown or so that he'll be wearing that gown when he goes to the church. Okay, he went ahead, bought the gown white, and uh, he was claiming that it's God that is speaking to him. Okay, mm, all the time he would uh, not sleep, he could just spend his night on the, on the chair, he's telling me that he's praying um, the whole night. Okay. While, okay. Mm -hmm. Then, one, one, one night, before that night, okay, he developed a, a habit that he's telling me that God is telling him that he should not go to work. He should, he should just be going out, preaching to people, uh, spreading the gospel, while uh, he's praying that God, the God that will uh, will enable me to get employed so that I cater for the family. Now I felt as in, he's my husband, he, he, sh he should pro provide for us okay. our basic needs. Why? Now so at what point did it get worrisome for you so we can uh, speed it up? Um, so this is a time he's gotten into this church, he wants to preach and pray for you to get a yes. job. So at no. what point did you really get concerned? And as now to now you see, there was, a, there was a day that uh, at night, 
He told me that he was to, to, he'll not sleep on the bed. He'll just pray overnight that tomorrow he's having a, a lesson. He'll be teaching on the Bible study. I went to sleep. Okay, all of a sudden, he, he woke me up. Then on finding that he had uh, a knife in his hand, telling me that uh, he feels that he should kill me. And my daughter, Mercy, was around. He wants to kill Mercy. And then he does away with his life. Oh, I was, and we were in uh, just a one-roomed house. I really cried, I really cried because... Did he, he say had, why he wanted to do that? No, he said that he feels, he, he feels that his life has reached the end. The end. Okay. Now, he has been uh, uh, preaching the gospel, doing everything that God intended him to, to do, and it, is, it has reached to the end. And had you attended this church with him, this last one before he came up to want to kill you? No. He told me to go with him, but I denied because I, I had got fed up. Okay.